this is a new yoga studio and I freaking love it. It's like five minutes away from me. It's like hot and it's like they play music loud and you can just like get lost in it. And I'm taking a wall class today. So I'm gonna do yoga against the wall. All right, woo! Welcome to beautiful, cloudy, gray Michigan, where it's always cloudy and it's always gray. But you know what? We're not going to let that stop us from having a good time today. Because you know why? Today is my birthday. <laughs> uh, so today is my birthday, and we just moved into a new place, into a new city. And I couldn't be happier with the area that we're in. We're in like this really like LGBTQ friendly, like vegan friendly, like liberal as fuck area and I fucking love it. I Today we're gonna have like a housewarming slash like birthday party. So yeah, I really love starting out like my birthday with yoga to kind of like center myself, kind of like look at my intention for the new year, just kind of, it's like a reset button, you know, I like to, to do my practice with the intention of just starting afresh for like this new trip around the sun. The way I see each birthday instead of like, cause I can easily see myself like freaking out about getting older, but um, I'm gonna approach it as being grateful for ha being given like another year of life. So I am very grateful to be getting given the chance to be get, getting older because not a lot of people are given that chance to get older. So we're going to have like a barbecue type thing. And I do this like every year. I love having vegan barbecues. Like vegan barbecue food is, <laughs> is my favorite. We did it for our wedding. Do it for like almost the past five years I've been doing it for my birthday. So we got some Beyond sausages, some Beyond burgers. And then to make it easier on myself, I'm having people bring like their favorite vegan side dish. So all I have to worry about is I got the Beyond sausages, my parents are bringing the Beyond burgers, and I'm gonna make a potato salad, because I love potato salads, and um, I make my own birthday cake every year. I make a really, really good chocolate um, cake with like a coconut chocolate cream frosting and it's to die for and my friend Katie, her son Hudson, just like loves this cake. So I made, I tried to make a lot a little extra so he could take it home. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna make my potato salad, frost my cake, finish cleaning up the house, and we're gonna have some friends over and have a vegan barbecue. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. What a glorious fridge it is, folks. These are so good, these uh, Field Roast Frankfurters. I really love them. Got these for the kids. But these glorious things, now that we live in the Metro Detroit area, like, oh my God, there's so many, uh, stores with like food like this like it's really cool there's a lot more like vegan food available like specialty things like this mr. handsome man here made me a nice beautiful green smoothie taking the trash out oh he's taking the trash out look at him yeah so yeah. that's really nice to have before eat a bunch of like vegan burgers and brats I boiled some potatoes yesterday, and now I'm gonna make some potato salad. Oh yeah, it's really good. So I made a potato salad with vegan mayo, mustard, celery, dill, salt, fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of um, black salt. It's like a, an Indian salt, and it's got a sulfur flavor to it, so it's kind of like, um, it, tastes, it makes things taste eggy without having to use eggs. So we're just gonna garnish this a bit. Benny has a steel drum gig tomorrow, so he's practicing a bit before people get here. <laughs> kind of fun, it's nice festive music. All right, woo! Anyway, so now it's time to make my world famous um, cake frosting. Because I made the cake last night. So yeah, I've got my canned coconut milk. It's been in the fridge for about two days. I think that's the best amount of time for it to be in the fridge because then it like gives it a chance to solidify and let the liquid go to the bottom. So you can separate the liquid from the coconut fat. Then whip that up with some chocolate powder, some powdered sugar, and vanilla. And that's it. It's just, you just go by taste. It's so good. Here's our first guests, my parents. Oh, baby, come into. Happy birthday! Yay! Oh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, I took a shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
right, the snacks are arriving. That's so pretty. Hummus. Chips. Ooh. Nice. Posted right up. <laughs> That's a good toy. There we go. You do it super fast, too. Yeah. What's that called? What is nice. that? Have you never seen one of those before? This? I've never seen them. All right. It's got some vegan mac and cheese, potato salad, got beyond brats. Got a papa. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> got a bone. You want to dance? Yeah. I got a dancer. A dancer. <laughs> We got lots of good stuff. Oh, got a mac and cheese, got a soup, got a barbecue eggplant. People brought some good stuff. We got the Beyond Burgers that I burnt because it was charcoal grill and I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> and then Beyond Burgers. Yeah. Foods. Oh, Morgan's here. Oh. Awesome. Put it in my kitchen. Got an awesome cookbook. Yeah. Let's show everyone. The kitchen. All right. Okay. You got the Yeah, I know. Said, and she got me a box of spices too. Really cool. Got my cake all frosted. Made the coconut cream. Had some help putting sparkles on it by Mr. Hudson over here. You helped me put the sparkles on it, right? Yeah. Happy birthday.